morning, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday 6 Eastern. Hillary Clinton admitting that she told uh, that the story that she told about landing under sniper fire in Bosnia may have been a quote misstatement. Clinton backpedaled Monday after video surfaced showing a very different picture from the dramatic landing she described more than once on the campaign trail. Here's how Clinton described that trip to Bosnia in 1996, just a week ago Monday. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was supposed to be some kind of a greeting ceremony at the airport, but instead we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicles uh, to get to our base. Uh, here's a look at that actual arrival, and you can see from the pictures, Chelsea, uh, her daughter with her, Hillary Clinton, walking off the plane. There was no snipers, no running, and she does actually go on to a small greeting ceremony on the tarmac. Joining me now, senior political analyst Bill Schneider, live from the CNN Election Express in Philadelphia. Thanks for being with us this morning, Bill. Sure. For your take on it, uh, sure. is this basically, did she lie on the campaign trail? Uh, I don't want to call anyone names, so let me give you a lawyerly answer. Her account is at variance with the evidence and with the testimony of other witnesses who were there. She was clearly embellishing the story, uh, and I think it does raise some questions about her credibility, which, of course, the Obama campaign was very quick to jump on. It does raise some questions also about why you would uh, not be a little bit more careful. She's savvy, and she also knows that clearly there were reporters with her. Clearly this was on tape, and uh, wasn't anybody going to double-check? Well, there was, clearly this was a blunder on her part. She should have known that there were many other people, that there were reporters there, that it, there was videotape, uh, and she's gotten into some serious trouble. Trouble because uh, of a very specific thing about her and her name, Clinton. Uh, it reminds a lot of voters of uh, the thing that they didn't like about her husband's administration. He wasn't a straight talker. That's where John McCain came out in 2000 as the un-Clinton, because he ran a straight talk campaign. What people remember about her husband's administration, aside from the many good things that he accomplished, was that he was evasive, he was sometimes deceptive, I didn't inhale, it depends on what the meaning of is is, I did not have sex with that woman. Well, he had a credibility problem right from the very beginning. Uh, and I think this reminds too many voters that uh, she also is a Clinton. Here's what she said uh, when she was responding to questions about her version of the story. She told the editorial board of the Philadelphia Daily News, I was told that we had to land in a certain way and move quickly because of the threat of sniper fire. So I misspoke. If I said something that made it seem as though there was actual fire, that's not what I was told. Uh, does that clear things up or make it worse? Well, she acknowledges that she misspoke. Uh, and uh, she's trying to make very little of it, but I think there is uh, something there that her opponents are going to latch on to. Let's talk about the presidential primary uh, that's taking place in, in Pennsylvania. It's actually just four weeks away from today. You're obviously there. An interesting article today uh, in the New York Times was, was talking about uh, Hillary Clinton's big hope, which is among the superdelegates, showing that she actually is able to get this blue-collar white vote in a huge swing state and that that would then be the argument moving forward in terms of why she should uh, they should side with her over Barack Obama. How key is it, uh, how she does in Pennsylvania, especially among that demographic? Well, here we're dealing, dealing with the expectations game, of course. She is expected to win here and possibly win big. This is her kind of state. She's got the support of the entire Democratic establishment, Governor Ed Rendell, uh, the mayors of Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, including the African-American mayor just elected in Philadelphia. So she has a lot of strength here. It's her kind of state, a lot of seniors, rural voters, Catholics, blue-collar workers, union members. She really ought to do well here. Uh, and if she does win a big double-digit victory, that could help convince uh, the superdelegates that the momentum is with her and she's a very strong candidate who can win big swing states like Philadelphia, like uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, that, that question has been raised about Barack Obama. Can he do the same thing? If Obama does well here and if he wins, that would be a huge unexpected surprise. If he were to win Pennsylvania, I think that would shut down the contest and uh, she would be under a lot of pressure to get out.